Welcome to this brief tutorial on how to find articles using PsycInfo, one of the many databases available through the Wichita State University Libraries. To access a database, go to the library's homepage at www.libraries.wichita.edu. From the homepage, click on the link marked Electronic Databases, here. This link takes you to an alphabetical listing of all the databases the libraries subscribe to. As PsycInfo starts with the letter P, that is where we need to go. Having clicked on the P, we see all the databases that start with that letter, arranged in alphabetical order. So we just need to scroll down to find PsycInfo, which is right here. Please note that if you are attempting to access the databases from off campus, you will need to log in first with your Shocker ID and password. Okay, so now we're on the search page for PsycInfo. PsycInfo is unique among our subject-specific databases for a couple of reasons. First, PsycInfo contains a wide variety of materials, from scholarly articles to psychological test results to electronic and digitized books. A few of the digitized books go back as far as the 1600s. Second, PsycInfo provides the researcher with a multitude of options for limiting one's search results. One can limit by publication type, by date of publication, by the population group surveyed, by the language of publication, and by the methodology used in the study, or a number of other criteria. To demonstrate this, let's use the following example. Suppose I wanted to find a case study on claustrophobia using humans as the subject. I could start by typing the search term up here in the search box. Now, as I'm going to want to make sure all my results are peer-reviewed, I will click off the peer-reviewed box here. And as I want a journal article, I will go to Publication Type here and select Peer-Reviewed Journal. Now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select Human for Population Group because I want to know the effects of claustrophobia on humans. And I'm going to look for a clinical case study right here under Methodology. Having made all these selections, I'm going to hit Search. And we get 29 results. That's not bad, a nice manageable set of search results here. So, let's pick an article. How about this one? Opening the door on claustrophobia, utilizing client ideas and personal resources. Clicking the title gets us to the article's record page here. Up here we have the citation information, the author, the title, the journal. You can also get this cited in APA format by clicking on this link right here. You also have here the abstract which provides you with a summary of what the article is about so you can determine if it's relevant to your research and if you want to download it. To get the article you're going to click here on the linked full text link which will take us directly to a PDF of the article. Now PDFs are lovely, this means you can save it, you can put it on a thumb drive, you can put it into cloud storage, or you can choose to print it right away if you want. If you choose to save it you can name it whatever you want, but usually, to make it easy on you for citation purposes, we save it using a combination of the author name, which in this case is Kreps, and the date of publication, which in this case is 2002. Thank you for watching this brief tutorial. If you have any questions about this or any of our other databases, please call us at the reference desk. Our number is 316-978-3584.